Okay, so now we want to look at ways that we can actually make our lead sound a little more interesting. And I'm going to talk about three different topics here. First of all, using the amplifier envelope, or the amp envelope. We're going to talk about using the filter envelope, and also using in this particular plugin, which is analog within Ableton, uh, the LFO, the low frequency oscillator, and pulse width modulation on the square wave aspect of our lead patch. Okay, so there's a number of concepts here. I'm assuming that you're familiar with some of them. I'm going to give you a real brief overview. PWM, or pulse width modulation, is essentially taking a square wave, which we are using in the oscillator 2 of our lead patch. And you can download this patch through the ALS file, the Ableton set, uh, that you can download with this lecture. But the second oscillator is using a square wave. Now, when you're using a square wave, you can actually change how much of the square wave is uh, positive and negative. You actually are kind of changing the ratio of positive and negative square wave. And 50-50 would be a perfect square wave, but you can change that to any value you want. And that, if you change that over time or you continually change it, it's called pulse width modulation. An LFO is just a very low frequency oscillator. We use it to create very, very slow effects like a vibrato or something like that. It's not fast enough to really generate a pitch, but it's fast enough to create interest in our sounds. And that's what we really want to do here is create a more interesting patch. Now the amplifier and filter envelopes, these are really important about changing the quality of the sound over time. Okay, so the LFO and the pulse width modulation, that's going to change the character of the sound, make it a little richer. But the amp envelope and the filter envelope, those are going to change the patch over time. And that's one of the best ways to make your patch really awesome, is to make sure that you are changing it over time, that it kind of transforms and morphs, right? So let's start by just seeing what the LFO and the PWM, the pulse width modulation, does to our patch. So let's listen to it. That's the original. It's a bit stark. I'm going to go ahead and turn this LFO on. I'm going to select oscillator 2 and I'm going to make sure that we have pulse width modulation. I'm going to set the width, uh, you know, let's say 80% and I am going to make sure that LFO 2 is set to 1. This is basically just a value from, you know, 0 to 100. You can also do negative values if you want. I'm going to go ahead and basically say apply the maximum value from LFO2, which I do have set to beats. Uh, the rate is a quarter, so the LFO is fluctuating positive to negative every quarter beat. And apply 100% of that fluctuation to the pulse width and allow it to modulate by 80%. Let's listen to how that's changed the sound. So it's a little bit more nasally now. Let's listen to an alt if we just turn it off. It's kind of a little more dull now, a little more stark. It almost sounds like we've got reverb on there, but we haven't. Okay, so this has made our, our lead patch just a little richer. Now we want to change it over time. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my filter, and I am going to change the attack, decay, sustain, and release times. The first thing I want to do is change the attack. This is going to essentially apply the filter over time. Let's hear how that sounds. Okay, well, it's maybe taking a little too long. We see our attack is set to 15 seconds. I'm going to take that down to something much more manageable. There we go. So setting it down to 626 milliseconds, a little more than half a second. That's enabling there to be a little bit of a change in the filter sound. Um, and you have to keep in mind how long the notes are in your melody. I'm dealing with 16th notes. They're pretty quick, so um, I need to make sure that the attack is pretty quick. But you can hear that there's kind of a new quality to the sound. Each time a note is, it has its own attack, it kind of has this like growing, swelling quality. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the quality of the amp. Uh, what I want to do here is actually change the decay and the attack. I'm going to make the attack pretty fast, about 70 milliseconds, but I'm going to bring the decay down also pretty fast. So let's do about 70 and 70 for each one and hear how that sounds. Now see, what that's done is it's taken a little bit of the hard edge off the original modification that I made to the filter envelope. <laughs> 
Overall now my patch has three new additions. The filter envelope is giving it kind of a warmer, swelling, moving feeling. And the amp is cutting some of the sustain and decay down a little bit so that it's not quite so brash. And it's also cutting out the brashness that came from using the LFO2 and pulse width modulation, which really brought a lot of kind of grit and richness to my patch, but in some cases a little too much. So now complementing these three concepts, the amp envelope, the filter envelope, and pulse width modulation driven by the LFO, I have a much more interesting sound. Let's go ahead and hear what it sounded like originally. The original patch was very stark, a little dry now by comparison, kind of obvious, a little simplistic. The newer patch had a rich quality. Let's go back and listen to that. Now it just has a lot more life, it has more character, and that's what we wanted. So these three changes are things you can make to your own patches. Uh, filter and amplifier envelopes are pretty common to most subtractive synths, but you'll also find them on other kinds of synthesizers as well. LFOs and pulse width modulation also apply along a lot of different synthesizers. Uh, of course, pulse width modulation can really only be used when you're using a square wave, so be aware of that. But give a shot at applying these ideas to your own patches to just make them sound a little richer, a little more interesting.